Bob the rock and tall lad Mencinta kemudahan beyond wawasan Bergembirawi sains dan teknologi Jangan takut dan jangan mudah Nino akan sentiasa di sini Let's create the future Dino style Innovation technology Invention majority Jelajah Alam sains dan teknologi Jelajah Dino style To the future Bangun Selamat sejahtera cikgu Selamat sejahtera cikgu Selamat sejahtera murid-murid Sila duduk Baiklah Seperti yang awak semua tahu Peperiksaan akhir tahun Akan bermula dua hari lagi Awak semua dah sedia? Ya, Cikgu. Bagus kalau macam tu. Kalau kita dah bersedia dari awal, taklah susah sangat nak jawab nanti. Betul tak, Haris? Huh? Uh, betul, Cikgu. Apa yang betul ni, Haris? Uh, kalau kita makan banyak, perut kita akan kenyang. Uh. <tuk> <tuk> Saya bukan tanya pasal makan, kenyang. Cikgu tanya, kamu dah sedia untuk peperiksaan atau belum? Uh, dah sedia, Cikgu. Tapi... Tapi apa lagi, Haris? Tapi tak boleh tunda ke, Cikgu? Kalau dah bersedia, kenapa nak tunda-tunda pula? Uh, tak ada apa-apa, Cikgu. Saja minta tunda. Itu pun kalau boleh. Kalau tak boleh, tak apalah. Tarikh tu dah dipersetujui oleh guru besar dan semua guru-guru dalam sekolah ni. Jadi ianya tak boleh ditunda. Awak faham tu Haris? Faham cikgu. Sekarang buka buku kamu. Kita akan buat ulang kaji pelajaran dari awal tahun dari sekarang. Baik, Baik cikgu. cikgu. Pula rasanya nak ambil peperiksaan ni. Takut? Kenapa pula? Awak tak bersedia lagi ke? 
Bukan tak sedia. Tapi, entahlah. Saya faham perasaan awak tu, Gina. Saya pun rasa macam mana awak rasa. Berdebar-debar je hati saya ni. Takut tak dapat jawab soalan tu nanti. Alah, kalau awak belajar, tentu dapat jawabnya. Memanglah. Tapi kalau masa peperiksaan nanti tiba-tiba kita terlupa, ha, macam mana? Itu yang buat saya takut. Bukannya takut tak dapat jawab soalan. Betul juga apa yang awak cakap tu kan? Bila awak cakap macam tu, saya pun dah rasa takut ni. Eh, awak ada nampak Haris tak? Kenapa tiba-tiba awak cari Haris? Awak rindu kat dia eh? <laughs> Ih, tolong sikit. Tak kuasa lah saya nak rindu kat dia tu. Menyampah ada lah. Menyampah konon. Yang awak cari dia tu kenapa? Kami berdua yang kacak ni kan ada. Helen, perasanlah awak berdua ni. Saya tanya pasal si Haris tu sebab... Cuba awak perhatikan kawasan sekeliling ni. Aman je. Awak tak pelik ke? Ya tak, ya juga. Semua orang gembira je. Tak ada siapa pun kena buli. Pelik bin ajaib ni. Baguslah kalau macam tu. Mungkin Haris dah insaf kot. Hmm, kalau dah insaf tu, baguslah. Tapi kalau dia buat hal yang lain pula, macam mana? Manalah tahu dia nak bakar sekolah ke, nak conteng sekolah ke, nak... Sudahlah tu Gina. Cuba awak berfikiran positif sikit. Tak baik tahu awak cakap macam tu, Gina. Entah-entah awak ni benci tapi rindu tak? <laughs> Hi, jaga awak, Bob. Berani awak ejek saya, ya? Lari. Selamatkan nyawa. <laughs> Nanti awak, Bob. Saya dapat awak sebelasah awak cukup-cukup. Hi. <laughs> Pesal Gina tu. Kenapa Gina? Patutlah tak nampak tadi. Tengah belajar rupanya. Selalunya masa ni dia sibuk buli budak lain. Tapi hari ni dia belajar pula. Apa yang awak berdua terjenguk-jenguk tu? Mengintai je. Cuba awak tengok tu. Lah, Haris tengah belajar pun awak nak mengintai. Ingatkan apalah benda tadi. Awak tak pelik ke, Dina? Apa yang peliknya? Baguslah kalau si Haris tu belajar. Kan dah nak dekat periksa ni. Apa salahnya dia belajar? Memanglah tak salah. Tapi tahu pula dia nak belajar. Ingatkan tahu nak buli orang je. Biarlah dia nak belajar. Awak berdua ni dah cukup ilmu untuk peperiksaan nanti. Jangan nasyik mengintai orang je. Nanti diri sendiri yang gagal nanti. Saya ni ilmu je belum cukup lagi. Tapi makan dah cukup untuk sampai ke petang nanti. <laughs> Kalau makan dah cukup, jom kita sambung belajar. Jom! Jelajah Dino Star to future Alamak, macam mana nak jawab soalan matematik ni? Aku tak faham lah. Dari tadi aku jawab tapi tak dapat. Kalau aku gagal perpesan ni, mesti bapak aku marah. Mesti dia simpan semua barang-barang permainan aku. Habislah aku kali ni. Eh, apa pasal budak tiga orang ni masuk kelas awal pula ni? Tapi, bagus juga. Aku tanya Gina soalan matematik ni. Sebab dia pandai dalam matematik. Tapi, nak ke dia tolong aku? Menyesal pula aku selalu buli budak-budak ni. Ah, tanya je lah. Tak cuba, kita tak tahu. Uh, Gina? Nak apa? Cepatlah cakap. Saya nak belajar ni. Ih, kenapa awak jadi gagap macam ni? Uh, saya... Uh, uh, 
Awak rindu kat Gina ye. Bukan dah. Awak jangan masuk campur. Nak minta tolong? Tolong apa? Uh, saya ni tak pandai dalam matematik. Jadi uh, saya nak minta awak tolong ajarkan saya. Awak minta saya ajarkan matematik? Ya. Yeah. Kenapa awak ketawa? Lakar sangat ke permintaan saya ni? Sebab... Ah, sudahlah. Kalau tak nak tolong, cakap je. Jangan ketawa pula. Ingat dia orang je yang pandai dalam sekolah ni. Boleh belah. Meracuklah pula. Kenapa awak ketawakan dia macam tu sekali? Empatan muka dia. Ha, sekarang baru sibuk nak minta tolong kat kita pula. Tak baik kita berdendam dengan orang tau. Mana tahu suatu hari nanti dia pula tolong kita. Alah, tak ada maknanya dia nak tolong kita. Menyusahkan lagi adalah. Ah, malas nak cakap pasal ni lagi. Baik saya sambung belajar ulang kaji. Suka hati awak lah, Gina. Mana Gina ni? Kata nak pergi perpustakaan. Tadi dia cakap dia nak pergi kantin kejap. Cik, berani sungguh dia pergi kantin tak ajak saya. Elok juga dia tak ajak awak. Barang, tak pasal-pasal kena belanja. <laughs> Jomlah kita tunggu kat perpustakaan. Ha, jom, jom. kantin ke? Kalau macam tu, bolehlah belanja kami makan. Hmm, korang ni tak ada kerja lain ke? Asyik nak kacau orang je. Inilah kerja kami. <laughs> <laughs> Kalau tak nak belanja kita orang, kau bagi je duit belanja tu kat kita orang. Kan senang? <laughs> Kalau tak. Kalau tak apa? Ha, aku bagi tahu pengawas. Ha, baru korang berdua kena tindakan disiplin. Pengawas tak ada. Semua pergi mesyuarat. Cikgu pun tak ada. Semua sibuk buat kertas periksa. Okey, kalau macam tu aku bagi tahu guru besar. Baik baik kau serahkan duit belanja tu. Tak ada orang nak tolong kau sekarang. Hehehe. Suka hati je nak ambil duit orang. Eh, hey, tak malu ke? Mintalah dengan mak bapak korang. Minta minta, tapi tak dapat. <laughs> Kalau kau tak nak kena pukul, lebih baik kau bagi duit tu. Cepat! Mana boleh? Oh, degil ya. Hoi, korang nak buat apa? <laughs> Hoi, apa yang korang buat ni? ha? Nak beli budak kelas aku ya? Eh, Haris lah. Eh, tak adalah Haris. Saya nak berkenalan je dengan dia ni. Tu je. Nak berkenalan konon. Lebih baik korang belah sebelum aku naik angin. Jom. <tuh> Lain kali je lah kita berkenalan ya. Uh, Haris, terima kasih ya sebab tolong aku. Sama-sama. Uh, Haris, um, um, semalam awak minta tolong saya kan? Um, apa kata kalau awak ikut saya pergi perpustakaan sekarang? Eh, uh, betul ke Gina? Eh, betul lah. Dah, jom kita pergi sekarang. Eh, uh, hmm, uh, yelah, jom.
Mana Gina ni? Pergi kantin ke? Pergi buat kantin? Eh, siapa pula yang ikut dia tu? Hai, maaflah terlambat sikit. Ada hal tadi. Nasib baik ada Haris tolong saya. Kalau tak, tak tahulah apa akan jadi. Apa yang terjadi? Ceritalah sikit. Gina ni, tadi ada budak kelas hujung sana kacau dia. Jadi, awak tolong dia lah, Haris. Kebetulan, saya lalu kat situ je. Kiranya, awak ni macam hero lah sebab tolong Gina. Dan Gina pula macam heroin lah. <laughs> Hei, awak jangan nak mengada-ngada lah, Bob. Saya belasah awak sekarang. Ha. Udahlah tu, kita kan dalam perpustakaan. Kan elok kita ulang kaji pelajaran. Hai, Haris ni nak belajar sekali dengan kita. Okey tak? Saya okey je. Lagi ramai lagi bagus. Seronok sikit. Saya pun tak ada masalah. Kalau macam tu, kita mulakanlah sekarang. Okey. Terima kasih semua. Dino dan kawan-kawannya termasuk Haris menghadapi peperiksaan dengan penuh persediaan. Adakah mereka akan berjaya? Saya bila dah habis perperiksaan ni? Saya pun. Barulah saya ada selera makan. Patutlah awak nampak kurus sikit masa perperiksaan hari tu. Rupa-rupanya awak tak ada selera makan ya? Tak ada selera konon. Tiap-tiap pagi sebelum perperiksaan awak makan nasi lemak dua bungkus tu apa? Memanglah. Ibu kira tak ada selera tu. Kalau tak, saya mesti makan empat bungkus nasi lemak. Tahu? Suka hati awak lah, Bob. Asalkan awak bahagia. Eh, Gina. Nampak macam hero awak datang lah. <laughs> <laughs> awak jangan main-main, Bob. Ha, saya belasah awak sekarang. Itulah si Haris. Dia kan hero awak. <laughs> <laughs> Bob! Ya. Hai, gembira nampak? Bob ni buat lawak petang-petang pula. Um, Haris, ada apa awak datang sini? Ada yang kami boleh tolong ke? Tak. Sebenarnya, tujuan saya datang ni nak ucapkan terima kasih ke awak semua. Sebab tolong saya dalam perperiksaan. Alah, perkara kecil je tu. Kita mesti tolong menolong antara satu sama lain. Betul tu. Kita cuma kongsi pengetahuan yang ada. Saya nak minta maaf ke awak semua. Sebab selalu kacau awak bertiga selama ni. Tapi sekarang ni, saya dah insaf. Saya tak nak lagi jadi pembuli. Lagipun, pembuli ni orang tak suka. Tahu pun apa. Jadi, saya harap awak semua boleh maafkan saya, ya? Tak apalah. Lagipun, perkara ni dah lepas. Betul tak, Bob? Gina? Betul tu. Saya tak kisah. Lagipun, selepas ni tak ada orang nak buli saya lagi. Dan yang penting, kawan saya dah bertambah satu orang lagi. Eh, uh, Bob. Awak maafkan saya tak? Awak macam tak suka je dengan saya. Saya memang tak nak maafkan awak. Hah? Uh... Apa kena dengan awak ni, Bob? Dahlah tu, Bob. Perkara yang lepas tu, lepaslah. Awak ni mengada-ngada lah, Bob. Eh, uh, Bob. Maaf kalau saya. Saya betul-betul ni. Dahlah tu, Bob. 
Saya gurau je. Jadi, awak maafkan saya lah ya. Saya akan maafkan awak. Tapi, dengan satu syarat. Wah, ada syarat lah pula. Maaf pun kena pakai syarat ke? Apalah awak ni, Bob? Apa syaratnya? Saya akan buat apa pun untuk menunjukkan saya dah insaf. Syaratnya, awak kena belanja kami makan goreng pisang dengan cendol kat warung Mak Jah. Macam-macam. Boleh? Tak ada hal punya. Sekarang juga saya belanja awak semua. Jom. Cantik juga tu. Perut saya pun dah lapar ni. Ah, jomlah. Oh, nanti dulu. Nanti dulu. Ah, apa hal lagi? Ada syarat lagi ke? Entahnya Bob ni mengada-ngada betul. Uh, Haris, awak jangan lupa ya. Eh. Lupa apa pula? Jangan lupa jemput saya nanti. Jemput apa pula? Jemput apa bendanya, Bob? Kan awak kata nak bertunang dengan Gina minggu depan. Bob! Iya. Lari, selamatkan nyawa. <laughs> Nanti awak, Bob. Saya dapat awak sebelasah awak cukup-cukup. <laughs> Alah, janganlah marah, Gina. Nanti cepat tua. <laughs> ah, tak kira cepat tua ke cepat mati ke saya dapat awak. Siap awak. <laughs> Lari, selamatkan nyawa. <laughs> Selamat datang ke Planet Dino. Innovation, technology, invention, agility, creativity, activity. Dino style to the future. Mari, mari bersama Dino. Jina dan Bob dan rakan taulad. Mencinta kemudahan biang wawasan. Bergembirau in science and technology. Jangan takut dan jangan mudah. Dino akan sentiasa di sini. Let's create the future. Dino style. Innovation, technology. Invention, majority. Jelajah. Alam science and technology. Jelajah. Dino style to the future. Sugar pals, cheese girl, moose and snap as well. Mint, Lottie and Gloria, they're always there for one another. So much fun, so much to discover when you take an adventure with sugar. into shop area and not feel so small. I think of all your school projects, this was the most interesting. Making a diorama of a room in your home. Do we get to keep it after the school is done with it? I think so. Maybe we can put it in the common area. Then we have a dining area for all of us to gather in. Mint! Is it okay? Don't do that again, Mint. Bad dog. 
Huh? It's time for bed, Cupcake. I hope you're down with your project for tomorrow. Yep, and I did it all by myself. Yes, you did. I'm sure Miss Lemon Key Lime Pie will give you extra marks for that. So, what story for tonight? This time it vanished quite slowly, beginning with the end of the tale and ending with the grin, which remained some time after the rest of it had gone. Well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, thought Alice, but a grin without a cat? It's the most curious thing I've ever seen in my life. So, did it survive the night, Cupcake? Yep, Mr. King is still sitting there. I haven't seen Mint this morning. I'm sure he's around. You know how they like to get into the walls and crawl around. Well, <gasps> we still haven't found him. He wandered off after Cheese and I kept shooing him away from the diorama. And we have the others doing a systematic search around the house. Then we start a house by house search if we don't find him here. Yeah, a lot of crawl space to get lost in. Well, at least there's still one pet that can turn up when he wants to. Seems like he had a busy night. Yeah, maybe a little too busy. You guys are just imagining things. Rolly's a cat. They like to hunt around at night. But we also feed him every day. <laughs> Guess he really had a busy night. Mr. King. He agreed to pose for his model, but it didn't really look like him in the end. I got some small pictures of my mom and dad and stuck the faces onto the models, so it looks like they're sitting on the couch. I did my living room too, because we've got the TV and the radio and the games there. Yours looks rather big, Lila. I like helping my mom in the kitchen. Our kitchen is a little small, but it's connected to the dining room, so I put them together. Children. Good morning, Miss Lime. I see we've all got our dioramas. So let's put them all on the shelf at the back of the class. We'll look at them later this afternoon. Open your textbooks to Chapter 5. Oh, my God. 
Because we were strict with him? He wouldn't run away because of that. Mint is always happy here. So where could he be? Nice doggy treat for you. You know he can't eat that. It's too big for him. Well, what does he eat then? Well, I don't know. What do you eat? Nothing. Hmm. Me neither. Mint! Here, boy! Mint! Mint! Mr. King, he comes every day for tea. He also has a dog, Mr. Puddles. Mr. Puddles isn't allowed in the eating area. That's very good, Gloria. Thank you. Now, who's next? around the house for today, yes? Miss Lemon Lime liked it, too. That's good. By the way, I don't suppose you've seen Mint around? Mint? He's over there. The only place we didn't really look. Hmm. 
Is the vehicle ready? Where we left it. Right below us in the garden. Let's go. to drive. Then quit zipping all over the place. You're gonna get us noticed. Just stick to one side and follow the wall. Looks like they're hidden there. Like a little girl. No, I don't. I think something fell on us. You think? I think we could push it off enough to get the car moving again. That ought to do it. <laughs> ah! Yep, we can just drive out now. I don't think we have to go very far. Come on! Is this what cats do when they get together? Maybe it's some kind of special ritual. Is it some kind of dance? I don't think so. We should get closer. our plan. The humans suspect nothing. Then we proceed as usual. Are they speaking? Shush! I have some additional subjects within my household. They are unique, to say the least. Do they suspect your true nature? Your mission? A small number of them are suspicious. A small number? How many are there? A few, but nothing that I cannot manage. Is he talking about us? Why, that no good sneaky little... Will you be quiet? Uh -oh. ah! Ah! Oh boy. What manner of beings are these? These are two of the additional subjects from my household. They look delicious! Mmm, yes, delicious! These are strange beings indeed. Our presence is compromised. They're going to eat us, aren't they? We shan't for now. That means they're deciding what to do with us. You pose a threat to my mission. Or perhaps they might assist you in your mission. Sure, sure, we could help. I'm a pretty good tactician. Yeah, and I can help make things. We must confer. Guard them aside. Move. You're not going to eat us, are you? Perhaps. 
I hear that cats like to play with their food. That we do. Most of us, anyway. How do you play with your food, anyway? Well, I like to swat it around, tenderize it a bit. That other cat swatted us real good. Yeah, we rolled all the way down there. We got real tender after that. I doubt we're gonna get any more tender than that. I don't know. I'm pretty crusty being made of gingerbread. Yes, I don't think even this cat can get through your tough exterior. Oh, I think I can get you good and tender. I don't know. How far do you think you can swat him? Swat me? Tell you what, why don't you swat him in that direction? So that we don't disturb them. Then I'll go check how tender he gets once he lands. Don't I get a say in this? You're getting a head start if he does it. I'm just supposed to watch you, so you just stand there together. So, what do we do now? I don't know. Oops. <laughs> still knows about us. And we know about him. We just have to tell the others. Okay. What do you think? It looks clear. drive straight in a crisis. Your girly scream kept distracting me. Girly scream? I do not have a girly scream. The point is, we have to watch out for the cats. Yes, a very dangerous creature indeed. Ooh, I'm scared. He's just pretending. Well, cats are mysterious creatures, and they can very well take care of themselves. You don't believe us! Oh my, it's getting late. You need to get off to school, Cupcake. I'm finished. I think you guys are just being silly. You probably dreamt it all. Yeah, Rolly likes us. You probably think I can talk too. <gasps> it's all just a dream.
sugar pals, cheese girl, moose and snap as well. Mint, Lottie and Gloria, they're always there for one another. So much fun, so much to discover when you take an adventure with sugar pals. He's stupid. He's supposed to be in an upper class, but they're putting him with us. That's not a nice thing to say. Who told you that? I heard that too, from Rosie. It seems their moms work together in the same office. <coughs> he looks kind of big and scary. His mom and him just moved back into town, and his dad is somewhere far away. I heard that his dad is a soldier. Shh! They're coming in. Class, this is Billy. He'll be joining us from today. I hope you will all make him feel welcomed. I know this is going to be difficult, so I hope you will all try. There's a spare table at the back, Billy. Why don't you sit there? Now, let's get on with the class, shall we? Billy, sit here! Uh, no, Billy. George is sitting there. Sit at the empty seat. Billy, sit here. George, would you please move over and let Billy sit there? <sighs> <laughs> OK, now back to our lesson. It was weird what Miss Lemon Lime did today, isn't it? I probably would have done the same thing. Me too. Billy was really scary. And the way he talked, it sounded so strange. He kept calling himself by his own name. Some people do that. Yeah, weird people. We really shouldn't make fun of him. We don't really know him. Oh! Oh, uh, hi, Billy. Billy, play! Um, okay. Billy, play! <gasps> and the weirdest thing is that Miss Lemon Lime didn't even scold him. None of the teachers did. Everyone is treating this Billy extra nice, letting him do anything he wants. Like he's some big bully that even the teachers are scared of him. I'm sure there's some logical explanation. I think he's a little on the slow side. Maybe his head isn't right. Sounds just like you. Never thinking. Simply doing anything you want. Oh. Whoops. Didn't think about that. Everything is just weird. He's weird and even people around him become weird. Ooh, ooh, ooh Billy, one cupcake. 
Oh, no, it's okay. Thank you. You're very kind. Come along, Billy. <laughs> Billy like cupcake. Is there something wrong, Cupcake? How come you were so nice to him? Why not? He's mean and strange. He took George's seat in class. And he broke a window in school. And no one got angry. So, you four find it strange that everyone seems to be overly nice to Billy, hmm? Mm -hmm. Do you all think that Billy is a bad person? Did you see them? Which way they went? They're living in the last house. You mean that family that moved in last week? We need more intelligence if we're gonna help Gloria and her friends with this. Billy is a special boy with special needs. Call him what he is. The boy's mentally handicapped. He's... different from you. He's slow, hmm? Yeah. You kids know that Billy is older than you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. But Billy's brain is actually much younger than you. He's like a smaller kid in the body of a big boy. What's a brain? <sighs> it's that thing inside your head that helps you learn things and make you smart. <laughs> so how is Billy's brain younger? It's not. It's just slow. Right. Okay. Do you remember that time when you couldn't run as fast as everybody else? Uh-huh. Well, Billy can't think as fast as others. He's very far behind everybody else in learning and thinking, including you. He's like my little brother. My mom and dad always let him do anything, but sometimes they also scold him. So you understand. The poor boy. Well, that's that. Nothing we can really do about this. What are you saying? The problem is the kid's head. We can't do anything about that. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, Gloria could still help him. If we could help Gloria with the running, we can help her with this Billy kid. Like doing what? You guys can do what you want. do a lot of things that will seem wrong, but not to him. Like when he broke the window. So, when he does something odd... He's probably having fun, and he won't know if he's doing something wrong.
your dad is right. The more I watch Billy, the more he seems like my little brother, doing whatever he likes. And he looks happy doing anything. Here, you can have some. Thanks, Nadim. Mmm, yummy. It's okay, I still have another piece in my bag. If Billy likes to kick the ball around so much, maybe we can help him control it. Um, it will probably be like using a bulldozer to plant a flower. So that's what Nadim and Chirin are planning to do at the park tomorrow. Invite him to play ball at the park. It's not a bad idea if they can control the ball. We'll all be there to help out, I guess. Speaking of that, have any of you seen Moose around? Come to think of it, I haven't seen Mint or Snap lately either. Very nice, Billy. Uh, uh, moose like? Yes, moose like. Moose and Billy friends. Uh, uh, moose friend. Is friend? Hell. Billy, this is Snap. Snap is friend. <laughs> snap? <laughs> Biscuit is Snap? <laughs> yes, Snap is friend. Snap? Friend! Y yes, S Snap F friend. Now, put him down. Snap? Friend! Oh, again. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Glory isn't the only one who needs help. Aren't you the one who's usually against exposing our existence to others? There have been exceptions. Now, your turn. What are you doing here? Well... Talked about this, not so hard. Yeah, not so hard. Just tap the ball to one of us. <laughs> Billy King! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Now, kick the ball to cheer in. Gently! It's easy! Let me try. It's easy for you, too. You have longer legs. It's not our fault. We're just made that way. At least you and Moose are smarter. Speaking of home, why is he out there? He said that Billy needed a guardian angel. He called Billy a kindred spirit. I guess there's nothing else for us to do. <laughs> Even the dog is better than me. Huh? <sighs> I'll get it. 